Weekly Mail Reviews here. We're talking about a show that happened March 31st in Lancaster, PA at the Convention Center. Uh, it's a newer venue that we've been to in Lancaster. It's rather large, it's rather nice, although there's some weird sound problems. But anyways, we're going to try to keep this short because there is a crap load of bands that we had to talk about. So, we walked in and there was this band playing. We didn't, we wasn't able to catch the name. We catch like the last song pretty much. Uh, so we apologize. If you send us something, we'll check you out. But that's all we can really say about them. Like they were in the middle of their last song. And that the the first band we actually was watched was as Cities Fall. Uh, yeah, what'd you guys think of them? They were sort of uh, they're my, they're sort of like. Uh, chunk, no cap, chunk. In a way, they have this like pop punkish sound, but at the same time, kind of a metal sound to them. But, yeah, I thought they were, they thought they were alright. I thought they were kind of generic. They kind of like the stereotypical Mr. Band, but they did do some clean vocals. And do, they had a few things that like stood out. But, okay. Yeah, I, I thought they were just kind of like okay. They didn't impress me a whole lot, but they weren't terrible either. Uh, they had some. Some decent vocal harmonies, I thought, with the clean vocals, like Zach just mentioned. Uh, they're alright, though, but the next band was uh, Cyanide Something. Uh, we, I know you guys said it like three times, your name, but we completely missed the last part. And it's like we were paying attention to you, it's just hard to hear. But, uh, yeah, what'd you guys think of that? I thought they were cool. I mean, I thought they had, they were pretty interesting for one of those starting out bands at a concert, one of the first couple bands. They were, pre they were pretty interesting. And this band had some local, this uh, the, uh, the show had some local bands that were pretty cool, not just like the, oh wait, get them off the stage, let's go to the next band. I thought they were pretty cool. Um, they weren't really that interesting to me. I thought they were kind of like an escape the fate or falling in a first band. But, yeah. Uh, I liked them. I liked their solos. I liked their their riffs. I thought they had a lot of energy compared to the other local bands. Uh, they, I don't know. They, they were cool. We tried to find your Facebook page and everything for a while, and we could not find anything. So we really apologize for that. Uh, Drop us a link. Yeah, or something like that. Drop. But yeah. Uh, next band was Sudden Ascent. They're from Lancaster. I've uh, seen them a couple times. Uh, pretty much like any other time. Uh, their singers cool. They got a new singer. They kind of had their sound was kind of mixed, uh, kind of bad. It was really hard to tell some things, but I thought they did pretty good. I like them so. Um, I, I think they're good and they're talented. All they're just not my cup of tea. I don't know. It's just I don't know. They just didn't really bring me in. I mean, they're good and all. They yeah, no offense, you guys, just, I don't know, not my cup of tea. Yeah, I, I think they were good. Uh, I enjoy this band. They're one of the the better Lancaster bands, I, I feel. Uh, I really like their new vocalist. I feel like he has so much more longevity with his voice. He has more range. I'm kind of excited what they do with him. Uh, and really quick, it was extremely freaking rude how the sound guy shut them off. Uh, even though they might have been a little over what they were supposed to do, go, uh, they only were like 20 seconds left yeah. until their song was over. That was just ignorant. They did that to a couple bands there. Yeah. So next was the last unsigned band, Ascent Like Wolves. Yeah. No offense to them, I, I just, I don't know, I wasn't really paying attention too much, so sort of. I think I was at the bathroom getting food or something. I, just, I, I don't think I... I think I was listening to them. I just don't know what I was doing there. Like, no offense to you guys. I'm sorry. Like, I just... I don't know. I, something I just don't remember. I wasn't into my own really paying attention. Yeah. I, I couldn't really get into that. I was not high. Stop saying we do drugs. Yeah. Because I don't. No offense, but work on the vocals, bro. Uh, but any of these local bands, if you watch it, you can get mad all you want. This is just opinion. We're getting your band recognition anyways, whether we say you did good or not. So, yeah.
The next band was Crimson Armada. Yeah. What'd you think of that? I I thought they were cool. I'm like I'm not really into this band like a whole lot. I mean they're cool. I like their CD. It's cool to listen to once in a while, but it's pretty much like the one of those you know modern Miss May I kind of band, like similar to that. But they really brought a good show on. I thought. I, I don't know a lot of their songs, but I know they played like uh, something Stones in the title. Okay, just, uh, yeah, they played that last or something. That was really cool. They had a wall. Of, they opened up with the wall of death. So they had a lot of energy. Their sound was really good. It was cool, like hearing them right from all the crappy local band and stuff. I pretty much agree with pretty much everything that Zach said. They uh, it's like right away it started with all this energy with the wall of death. It was uh it was pretty nice. I like their their uh, new album, Conviction, I think it's called. Uh, they, they were good. Their singer had really queer boots on. No, I'm not gonna lie, but uh, I don't know. They, they're they're cool. They're probably they really got the day started with some good stuff. Yeah, they had energy, and they were good. I like the song Conviction. They played that, and they were crowd surfing, and it was like a sea of people out there. Mm -hmm. Man, they had a giant like circle pit around the soundboard. Yeah, stuff. So was, it was cool. Uh, next was Vanna. So I was excited to see these guys. I liked them for a while, and I never really got to see them. I was really surprised that they, like how good of a show they actually brought. The like, pits were insane. They were really into the crowd. They had good sound. They were just probably like one of the best bands there that day. Um, yeah, I thought they brought a ton of energy. The singer was really into it. Like he was diving off the stage into the crowd and shit. And they shut off the sound on this band too before they were done. But then they turned it back on because it's just they realized how ignorant it was or something. But um, yeah, I thought they played really well. Uh, I was watching them off from a distance, and they still they were they were they were good. They were very good. They really, uh, they're one of the better bands there. Yeah, I, I enjoyed them too. Uh, my probably was just where I was standing, but I thought their bass guitar was so freaking overpowering. Uh, but other than that, they, they put on a really good show. Like, I, I moved back to a different spot, and I could hear them, like, crystal clear. Um, but they, they were, they slammed, dude. I, I like them a lot. Next was Chunk, no Captain Chunk. Yeah. I like them a lot. Even though I had an embarrassing moment, I, regardless, I still I like them a lot. And I've been listening to them ever since I saw them, and I just really like this band. Even though they're French, I don't like the French, but um. I, I, I like them. They're like pop punk mixed with metal and it's just, it, it's, I don't know, I like pop punk, I like metal, it's, it, it was a cool combination. It's like a Doritos taco. You get Doritos, you get a taco. Uh, yeah, I was really surprised by this band. I was surprised by the vocalists a lot and I was like really surprised at how, like, how much energy they actually brought. Like, it's kind of weird because this band is got really popular out of like nowhere but uh yeah the vocalist really surprised me he like he did like really high clean vocals that were pretty good and then he does like very low almost guttural vocals um yeah yeah i'm not the that into this band but they they kind of surprised me i thought they were a lot better than what i thought they would be uh they would go from like pop punk to like these like brutal like guttural deathcore, um, but they're pretty good. Uh, they, I thought they had some pretty crunchy, groovy moments. Uh, yeah, they weren't bad. Uh, next was the Amity Affliction from Australia. What you guys think? Um, I thought they were really cool. I wasn't like really here to see this band, even though I've never seen them before, and I do like them. I was pretty surprised like how good they were. I don't know like a lot of their stuff because I've only listened to an album, like one album from them. I know they played the song Anchors, which is my favorite song. 
Um, the clean vocals were really good. I was surprised by them. Like it was like spot on, and the band was like ex almost exactly like they are now, which was really cool. I thought the cleans are very good. I like the cleans from the dude up there. I thought the screams were a little different, but uh, it might just be an Australian thing or something. I don't know. No offense. I don't know. It's a joke. But uh, yeah, I thought they were pretty cool. And um, I would definitely check this band out. They're they're uh, they're a little different than what else is there, but I mean, it was a clean vocals galore concert. Every band there, I think, is clean. Yeah, I thought they were good, like Sam said, their cleans are, were really catchy. That's that's what kind of drawn me in to their performance. Uh, I thought their screams just kind of sounded weird, but like they're not the most original thing in my opinion, but I, I enjoyed their, their performance. They they played some some good tunes. I honestly never listened to that band much before, but they're pretty good. I enjoyed them. Next was For the Fall of Dreams. These guys slammed. Hey. Um, yeah, these guys are definitely my, like, my personal opinion, the best band there of the whole entire show. Um, it was, when they started, I thought it was like it was still good. Don't get me wrong, but the show didn't really pick up until like the middle of the set when it, when they played the big empty, and then like everyone started screaming the lyrics, singing along, and whatnot. The crowd got really into it. It was just like mosh pit in the front. And then like the crowd, their, the actual mosh pit, like you would get like people would fly up in the front, you get pushed against the gate and whatnot. It was pretty insane. They put on a great show. The guy sounded like his clean vocals were amazing. The spot on like sounds like he does on the record. Uh, the sound was good, and I had no problems with that. Um, yeah, and they played a lot of good songs in there too. But they were probably my personal favorite the whole entire day. Yeah. Yeah, I thought they were like the first really, really great band. Uh, just the when they first came on, I thought their vocals, like their screen vocals, sounded like really hoarse. But then the singer was like, "Yeah, I'm under the weather," which sucks because they they could have possibly been even better, you know, if he if he was at 100 percent. But other than that, they put on a good show. Uh, they had some energy and lots of energy and like the last song bro they played Brothers in Arms the singer was like jumping in the crowd like everybody's going insane and uh, the, like Zach said the clean vocal sound amazing too uh, they, they, they um yeah I, I was listening to a couple of their songs um they're a good band and all I just I don't know I wasn't paying too much attention so I was like really focused on who was on the other stage and I think I should go over there because I was thinking like Attila was next but uh, I was just really pumped for Attila and I was like and I watched them for the Fallen Dreams and they were good, like the cleans were good, the screams sound a little, uh, yeah, like Tyler said, a little horsey. Um, but yeah, I think overall they were pretty good. Yeah, and Exo's motion was in white. I thought they... I don't know, I don't really care for this band, like, the, the, they're, they're alright, I guess, it's just, uh, I think that some people take them a little too seriously, but, um, no offense to any of those people, but I thought they were good live, and they had, they have a pretty good stage presence and some really, like, I don't know, bouncy stuff, because a lot of people are jumping up and down, and, um, no, I mean, I thought they were alright, they always play good live, but, um, yeah, I mean, they're not one of my favorite bands, but they, they put on a heck of a show. Um, I'm not, I like this band, but I'm not really into them. Uh, yeah, I thought they put on a good show, it's just their guitar tone was retarded. Like, they opened up and I thought they were playing like a didgeridoo or something. But, uh, yeah, I thought they did pretty good. I didn't really recognize a lot of the songs they played, but I know they played Abigail and Creatures, and I enjoyed those. But I didn't pay, like, a whole a lot of attention to them, because I was waiting for Attila. But, yeah. I was waiting for Attila too, so I just kind of watched them from a distance. And just, they're like the Marilyn Manson of metalcore. The singer tries a little too hard to be like Marilyn Manson, which is kind of annoying. Uh, but other than that, they put on a decent show. Uh, I probably would say I enjoy them a lot more live than 
like their studio recordings, although their studio recordings aren't terrible. And this isn't a terrible band, but it's not the greatest thing, in my opinion. Uh, but next was Attila. They brought the motherfucking heat. <laughs> I think they were the best band there, and I, I enjoyed them very much so. And I, I think they were, at first they came on, and I thought, like, wow, this band is quiet. Like, compared to all the rest of them, did you think that? I thought their sound was kind of messed up. I, I don't know, it's just when they, when they first came on, I just thought they were a little quiet, so I'm not sure if it was my ears or whatever, but I thought they sounded a little bit quiet, but they, they blew my sack off of my nuts. I mean, they blew my <laughs> sack off of my dick. That made no sense, but what do y'all think? It's still made no Shut up. Uh, yeah, I really liked this band a lot, and I was like, they were one of the reasons why I went to this, but I was standing right in the front, um, I thought their sound was kind of messed up, like, I guess it was better than where I was standing, but like, the guitar's tone were kind of like, met, like muddy, it was like really hard to tell the guitar apart, you couldn't really tell much harmonies or anything, and then like, they'd have samples or backing tracks, and they would sound like completely, like, like louder than the band, or just want to fit in with it, but yeah, I thought they did pretty, like, bring a good show, you could tell like the crowd there was like there, like a lot of people went there for Attila. The pits were insane, they played a good set of songs. I was happy. Yeah, this band probably had the most energy I think of the night. Uh, just a lot of people were singing along. I was surprised how many people knew every single word to uh, their songs, but they, they uh, like Sam said, they brought the motherfucking heat. Uh, I thought their sound sounded really good, but from where I, I kind of got pushed back a little bit, but it sounded excellent. Uh, I think Franz has a great stage presence too, uh, but they put on a good show. I, I enjoy seeing them live. Uh, next was I See Stars, and unless you guys really want to say something about this band, then we're going to move on. Uh, I was ready for Chelsea Graham, I didn't really <laughs> watch that much. Yeah, but Alright. Yeah. Next was Chelsea Graham, like Sam said. Maybe I was saying Chelsea Graham. Um, they were very loud and very brutal. They're, they were brutal. That sums it up. They were brutal. Um, I, I think, because I was, I was listening to them, and during Sign of the Wretched, that one really groovy part in the middle, I couldn't hear that at all. Like, I was a little ways back, but. I, I couldn't hear that at all, and I just couldn't, I just like certain guitar parts I was really listening for, I couldn't hear throughout their set. And one thing that, I don't know, it, it's just a little, one of those little things to pick at, but um, Alex, when he was doing his vocals, like, it just reminded me of that mirror thing, like, he would be screaming, then he'd be kind of talking and building, and then like, sort of like, he was sort of just singing it, not screaming a lot, like, I'm not sure if he was out of breath or doing that, but, I don't know, this is one of those nitpick things, but, y'all. Um, yeah, I thought this like band was insane. Probably had the be like the best sound I've ever seen them. I thought their sound was really good. Um, right when they started, it was just heavy as hell. They, they played a lot of good songs. It was the first time I saw them with their new guitar player, the Born of Osiris, All Star guy. Yeah, he did pretty good. I was really impressed by this band. It was probably the my favorite time I've seen them so far. That was my third time. Uh, yeah. Yeah, dude, these guys were crazy. They played some songs that I've been wanting to see them play for a while, uh, Morbid, Cuban uh, Condition. Those songs ripped. Uh, the new guitarist, Jason, I think, he rips too. They just, they own. This band slays live. They, uh, you guys gotta check them out. But next was Trivium. Uh, they, were, they were my personal favorite of the night. Uh, not just because they were my, they are my favorite band out of all these. Just their their live show just blows my mind every time I see them. Uh, they played a lot from Ascendancy. That was like the bulk of their set. They played like two songs from Mid Waves and then two songs from Shogun. They they just ripped. I really I felt like they had to work to get the crowd to to, to move though. I don't know, maybe it's because people are tired or something. I, I love this band. I never thought I'd get to see them in my episode, but it was awesome. What did you guys think? Um, uh, uh, yeah, I was pretty tired for these guys, so I kind of chilled them back a little bit behind the soundboard. But uh, I thought they did pretty good. These guys are always put on a good show. 
I thought like this time Matt's spins were kind of weird. They seemed the more like more contained, but like like there he saw the same idea. He still had his fries, but they seemed really contained and like not as low as he does in the studio. But other than that, they put on a really good show. Played like a lot of big songs. Yeah. Um, Trivia. They 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 are always like spot on perfect every time I've seen this band. Like. I've seen this band three times, every time they're like, spot on perfect except for that solo in uh, Down From The Sky, that's, that's always weird, but regardless of that, this band is always like spot on perfect, even though um, Attila or maybe Chunk was my favorite band there, but this band definitely performed the best, yeah. like the, they, they're always perfect. So uh, the last band there was Asking Alexandria, what'd you guys think? Um, I, I never, I always hated this band before, I never gave them a chance, but I bought one of their, uh, albums, their newest one, I listened to it, and there's actually surprising a lot of, like, catchy stuff in there, and, like, they played, um, all the hits from that album, and a couple of their old ones, and stuff, and, uh, Danny was always, he's, he's, a, he's, he's Danny as usual, on stage, but, um, yeah, if you know them, then, yeah, he's Danny, but, I, I thought I thought they were pretty cool. I mean, everyone was tired at the end. And I kind of feel like they weren't like all jumpy around, like everyone was going insane. But I mean, I feel like it was pretty laid back towards the end. I feel like they they played a good couple of songs. I enjoyed them. Unlike Attila, this band does not bring the motherfucking heat live. Uh, this is my second time seeing them. They were better than the first, but they still kind of bored me. Uh, I just feel like their live show is so, like, average, and everything about this band to me is just average. Uh, they're way overrated, way over generic, in my opinion. Not that they're terrible, they're, like, I don't think they're terrible, I just, I don't know. I can't really get into them, but they're, like, I felt like so many of the bands here just completely upstaged them. Yeah. Not just because they're the last band, they don't bring the heat live, they're just boring, it sounds like, like, their songs sometimes are so repetitive, just the same breakdown over and over, and it's just, I don't know, and his vocals were just kind of eh, and I cannot stand the singer's image, he's a fucking faggot, so yeah, go. Singer's gay, I just saw the Travis B. Baker the one time. <laughs> That's Reckless Fest. So, uh, hope you enjoyed it. This is a long video. So, hope you stuck with us. Yeah. But, bye. Yeah.